Yes, yeah, sorry. It's the first one I've been on. Sorry? It's the first one I've been on the march. <laughs> yeah, first time. The, yeah, I've been watching it in the news. And it's, okay, it's fa fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Right. Good? Yes, that's fine. Yeah, you can do your recording as well. I don't mind. So tell me when you're ready. You're ready, yeah, fine. Right. So my name is Abdullah. I'm supporting a friend of mine who has a channel called Unite Upon the Hawk. And we are here to ask questions about marches, demonstrations, why are people here, how they feel about it, what they're thinking. So this is your first time. What is your name, sorry? My name's Tim. Tim, Tim, pleased to meet you. Thank you so much for agreeing on this conversation. And this is your first time, Tim. First time on a match. I've just turned 55. Congratulations. Uh, I've, I've been watching it on the news and it's disgusting. Right. It needs to stop. The right. killing needs to stop. Right. If both sides need to stop killing each other. Yes. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And Palestine needs, needs, needs their own country. Yes. And, you know. Yes. So a lot of people here are here for different reasons yeah. on this march and demonstration. And you are here to say all the killing needs to stop it on both sides. Stop, yes. yes. But you are a pro Palestinian. March? No, I'm pro peace part. Pro peace. peace. Yes. Right. So you're not pro Palestinian. You're pro peace. I'm pro everybody. Pro but, everybody. Yes. But can, is that possible? It is possible. How so? Everyone can live in peace if they want to. But that's not the reality in that conflict region. It's not a reality. The, the, everyone living the in the peace. The killing has to stop. Right. And then they have to talk. And then they have to have peace. And they have to share the resources. Everything, everybody has to be equal. It has to, the, the killing has to stop first time. All right. Killing civilians is wrong. Killing soldiers is wrong. Yes. Kill, killing is wrong. Yes, I it agree with you. It all has to stop. Yeah. Yes. We're, we're all earthlings, aren't we? We're all the same planet. Mm. Okay? Yes. So if we, if, we're looking, if we are looking at a fight between two people, yeah. both parties exchanging punches. Yes. One is mighty and powerful. Yes. And one, the other one is exchanging, power, the, exchanging punches, but one is it's, weak. It's not equal, isn't it? It's not equal. So the question is, do what? What is your solution? You need to get the parents in and pull them apart. All right. You know the okay. UN or somebody like that. Somebody yeah. with a bit of teeth to separate them. Yes. Sending the UN into into Gaza. Get Israel out. Get the UN in. Okay. We need to get Israel out of Palestine. Right. Or Gaza, whatever you want yeah, to call it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. But they need to be united. I mean, to me, I don't know if these people are Jewish or Arabs. I don't yes. know. I yeah. can't tell the difference. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're not Jewish. You're not Arab. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. Yes. Uh, everybody here looks the same to me. Yeah, I'm they, with you. They could be Jewish, they could be but God, God historically they're cousins. They are. Arabs and, and they're Jews. They're probably better, more related to me or to themselves than they are to me. Yeah, but yeah, they're they cousins. All, they all yeah. the same. It's a bit like the Second World War. The Germans look like me. Good, yeah. yeah but we were killing each other. It's, it's silly. Yeah, we're all related. Yeah. We are all related to each other. So what is your message to the public? What is your public message? Final thoughts. Voting better politicians. Okay. Get politicians that actually care about people and not just about the money. Right. And some people who are Palestinian supporters and are very critical of the atrocities done by Israel, yes, some of I. them, some yes. of them are very worried or scared to hear the support or hear the feelings because they think they may lose their jobs, they can lose their citizenship, yep. they can lose their yeah, visas. There's quite a lot of losses. Asked, what is your comments on that? I asked a question about 10 years online. Why do people hate Jewish people? I don't understand. I've met Jewish people that have been nice ones I've met. They've all been good people. And after that, my life had a few problems. People warned me not to say it online, but I had a few problems after that. You had problems after that? Yes. Yeah, so online, you are being monitored. Yeah. People are watching what you're saying online. So you've got to be careful. I mean, people like who? The public, the government, the security? I who's watching? I don't know. Things just started going wrong for me afterwards. Things started going wrong? Yes. Yes. And you don't know who's behind it. What people say things behind your back, you don't know what's going on, do you? Right. And you're not supposed to know what's going on. But I, a few bad things happened to me afterwards. All and right. So and I, I'm thinking, whatever bad happened to you, it's it not, it be, didn't it have... It could, could be a coincidence, or it could be something wants to say, we've got to shut him up. Right. Because, you know... Yeah, because you're pro-peace. I am pro-peace. Pro-peace, yeah. I don't like fighting. I'm a bit of a coward. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. But you have courage to come here. Well, and you have courage to I, be on camera saying I, what you feel. I see the civilians and guards are being bombed day and night. And they've got no one else standing up for them. Somebody has to stand up for them. Yes. They need the cavalry yes. to go in there. Yeah. I'm with you. You need the cavalry. I'm pro-peace as well, as a, my sure. personal yeah, position. Of course I'm pro-peace. I'll sit by your face. Yeah, yeah. I'm pro-peace as yeah, well. Yeah. And I, I don't support no kind of um, hate crimes. Mm. I don't support um, no 
um, anti-Semitism, any kind of anti-Semite. I don't support you. you know any hatred against a race of people. But I am very courageous mm. and I stand against any kind of crimes against it's, humanity. It's wrong. You've got to stand up. I stand against I, any kind of that's crimes why I'm against. Here today, just yeah. to, you know, just show you know I don't like. It. I actually said I wrote a letter to my MP, and he wrote back, and he was more interested in the money side of things than the humanity <laughs> side of things. You have a look at it if you want. That's what he wrote back to me. I said, yes. I said the killing has to stop, and this was his response: Jeremy Quinn, MP for Crawley, uh, Horsham. He doesn't care about the people. We need people. We need politicians that care about people, not about the money. He said, oh, we sent them this money, we sent them that money. No, send them support, moral support. Send them support saying this has to end. Yeah. It has to end. He says the UK recognises the legitimate aspirations of the Palestinian people and supports its lasting solution for Israel's and Palestine alike. Yeah. However, Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people or exactly. their aspiration. It offers nothing to them other than more terror and more bloodshed. I therefore support Israel's right to go after Hamas, take back the hostage, deter further smoke, smoke inclusion, smoke. strength. They need to get the Israeli soldiers out of Gaza, get the UN in there. Yeah. But, but Israelis don't want that because they want to control Gaza because of all the oil there. Yeah. They want the oil. So you think a lot of this is motivated by wealth? Of course it is. Oil, of course it is. natural resources. Money, uh, war is a business. Mm. And this is what it is at the moment. They're making money out of this. Yeah. People are getting killed. People don't want to get killed. Civilians. Yeah. People don't want to get involved, but they're getting involved. Yeah. And if, if we don't make a stand as civilians, you know, they're just going to keep killing. Yeah. You know. Tim, Tim, I find you very courageous. Thank you. To publicly speak the truth oh, about right. how you feel. Okay. In a very democratic country, in a democratic way. It's dangerous at, those, yeah. at the moment. To speak yeah. Out because yeah. they do get you. Yeah. They do. Go, they do. I mean, we're being we're being videoed now. We're being watched. Yes. I mean, I'm quite a distinctive looking face. <laughs> <laughs> not the prettiest. Yeah. But, but you know, not everyone understands. A lot of people are brainwashed to believe in a certain way. They, they don't see your both sides. I've been looking at GB News. I've been looking at Al Al Jazeera. I've got an outfit. Al Jazeera. That's the one. I've been watching them both. Yeah. Because you get both sides that way. Yeah. And. You're looking at issues broadly. To be honest with you, yeah. Al Jazeera is more civilian based. It's okay. more, about, more about humanity, I find. Right. Uh, GB News seems to be a bit, you know, jingoistic. You know, they want war. And oh, get lost. You know, yeah. let's stop it. Let's stop, you know, let's talk. Yeah. Share the wealth, yeah. okay? It's just the way it has to be done. Thanks a lot, Tim. It was a pleasure speaking with you, my friend. You too. You'll be safe. You too. And I do admire your courage yeah. and your truthfulness and your honesty. Thank you so much. Have What's a good one. Your, your um, unite upon the hack. Yeah. Can I show it to you? Yeah. Yes. You Excuse me. I told you, you don't stay focused. You're not with it. The gentleman needs to see your website. Your channel, please. Sorry.